Hello again everyone, Deflect here, Firm But Fair Gaming. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone who subscribed so far this month. We've done a really great job and I want to thank all of you guys for helping me out with the subscriptions, the likes, the shares, and uh, still pushing, uh, trying to reach that 500 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, just hit the subscribe button. I'll be bringing you lots of Star Wars content. I wanted to get into a video about the UI editor. So this, I've got a lot of questions on what I'm doing, what I'm using, why I'm using it type thing and how do I do it. So I'm going to bring you a video and get right into how to change everything, what you can do and how to, if you like the look of mine, how to make, you know, the look of mine. So I'm going to switch over to a different character because it's better to use the default bar and a different one in case some of my abilities shift. It just saves me time. So I will switch and get right into the UI. It is so well thought out. The uh, editing in it is phenomenal. And the changes you can make are just unbelievably good. You can suit whatever you like to play, wherever you like your bars. You can make it custom to you. So I want to show you how you can go about this. And then I will switch to a different character and show you why I have mine switched the other way. So for starters, this is your basic one. The easiest way to get into your uh, editor is just click this little plus button beside the number one. You can open the uh, interface and this is what you get. This is everything you can change. It might be a bit overwhelming to start for someone. But once you get into it, it, it just works so, so well. So you can click on any bar you want. Any bar at all, you know, your character bar, you move this around, uh, your player debuff bar, you move this around, your player buff tray, you can move this around. So what I've done is selected sidebars, like this quick bar over here, I've moved it and what you can do now is you can scale it you can make it smaller which I did I scaled all mine out actually my global scales out because I uh, I just wanted everything smaller because it was really really in your face so I I shrunk everything down in the global scale first uh, I believe I'm at a 0.8 I'll show you mine after just to confirm and you can now go into here and you can change how it is. So this quick bar, you can switch it so it's shorter. You can make it one bar. You can now make it um, wider by the number of slots. So you've now changed the rows to 12. You can make it taller. You can really just customize it all in here. Uh, you can have different, different, um, hey, if you want to do a double bar that's only six you can do a double bar of six if you want the little square bars you can do little square bars that is totally up to you how you want to set yours up i did this and moved it underneath the bars or the um the other bar and to make these match you can actually scale them as needed so this quick bar now it's at 100 percent of the other bar so the scale on them, you can scale them bigger, you can scale them smaller, depending on what you want out of your quick bar. I like all mine even, it's just aesthetically for me. Uh, <laughs> I have issues like that, that I just like to have it. Everything must be a little even. I don't want to have a small bar over here and then a bigger bar and a bigger bar. It just doesn't work for me. But you can pick it where you like. Like, I don't know if you want your main quick bar here. I don't know if you want your target enemy over here. Do you want your target enemy above your map? Do you want to flip it and have your target where your pers where your personal one is? You can do everything with this. It is uh, unbelievable. You can have the target cast bar over here. You can uh, play your cast bar. You can change your temporary abilities. You can move your stronghold toolbar. You can move every bar in the game. You don't like your map over here, move it to the top left if that's where you like it. You don't like your chat in the top middle, move it from the top middle. You don't like anything. Your alignment toggle you can move. It literally lets you change the whole interface. It's unbelievable. And it just needs to go where you want. The only thing I shrunk down was my experience bar because I don't care to have it that big. I actually shrunk mine to probably 50% and I just threw it over here because 
I yes, it's nice to know how much experience I have, but I other than that, I didn't need to know. So those are the different kind of options you can do. Like just you got to get in here, you got to play with it. You can save it, so you can save this bar. Um, oops, I hope I just didn't save it over. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Hope I didn't save it over my last one because that would have been bad. <laughs> but uh, now I have two. So I have my original one. And then I have... So I guess mine's a little bigger than 50%. Which I might shrink that down now that I see it. <laughs> and then I have the one I just saved. So you can have multiple ones that you're saving that you're working on. All my characters have to be named, named the same thing. So it's hard to remember which one I made the bar on. But those are the different... Um, ideas you can get in behind the user interface and all the different ways you can play with it like it's it's unbelievable what you can do to customize this for yourself if you want your quick bar and you want this one to do the uh the rows i definitely had rows so i would just make a little row and throw it in here and you have different rows on your quick bar so it's uh it's very customizable, very great, and I thoroughly, thoroughly like the uh, the interface editor on this. It's unlike any, any other game. Now, they're getting into the detailed ones. So, there is items you can do and change. And I'm just going to switch characters so you can see what that is. So, I've swapped characters now for the quick bar. And I want to show you why I have it set up this way. So I'll show you my actual, this is what the quick buy I run all the time. Uh, this is running at 12 slots. It's running at four row, four per row. So I have, you know, three rows high, three rows high. All these are the same. I've done, uh, I'm actually going to shrink that a little bit more. The scale is 0.5. I'm going to shrink it. 5.5. Five. I'm going to shrink down to 0.5. I don't need it that big. Uh, I moved my chat to the top here. Uh, I have my social notifications on the left. And the other awesome thing about this is, so this is the uh, main enemy bar. So your target frame. What I have, what you can do on the uh, target frame is you can now add, so mine's flipped horizontally, show roll icon, and you can highlight the debuffs you have on them. So that is highlighting your abilities that are hurting the enemy, like your dots and everything. I've done the ones where it's five minutes and below. You know, you can change it to whatever you like. You can change the debuff if it's a minute below. I wouldn't do 15 seconds because you won't get some of your big debuffs, like the ones that last 30 or 45. But if you want 15 seconds, you can do 15 seconds. I do five minutes and below uh, just to see. The other key item with this is when you're scrolling down here, you can sort your debuffs. So sort your debuff by time remaining. And that will put your quickest ones that you need to reapply right here on the bottom left. So you will have your debuffs in the bottom left. Now I will show you this on the raid dummy. So it highlights them. Normally they're not highlighted. Normally there's just this thing without the orange box around it. But those are your dots, and you can see all my dots. Now watch when I put Squelch on. It's a very short one, so it knows that I have to reapply Sever Force first, and Squelch is going to come off before Force Breach. So it always puts your quickest one at the bottom left. Amazing feature, especially if you're in a raid group. So if you're in a raid group, and you're looking to do your dot DPS, you can now see them on the bottom left of the boss when it's time to reapply. So they will tick, 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 and you can then see where they will be and which ones you need to reapply before the other ones. So that is a amazing feature you can add in your UI editor. So that kind of sums up the UI editor. Have a look at it, play around with it, see what you can do. It is very, it's the most customizable UI editor ever in a game. So have a look at it and enjoy what uh, you can customize and come up with. So this is Deflect, Fur Bear Gaming. 
Uh, if you could like, subscribe, share the video, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Still reaching, trying to reach that 500 subscribers. I want to thank everyone who's subscribed so far. We've had a great month of subscribers, and uh, let's keep going.